Color, it's all around us. In the flowers you smell, and the sky you stare at. In art, color can be broken up into many categories. Warm colors remind us of fire and the sun. They are colors such as red, orange, and yellow. They can symbolize joy and happiness, or excitement and danger. Cool colors remind us of cold, snowy, or rainy days. They are colors such as green, blue, and purple. They can symbolize sadness and depression, but can also represent calmness and ease. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. For example, yellow, green, and blue, or purple, red, and orange. Since analogous colors are neighbors on the color wheel, they get along. This makes an image using analogous colors feel unified and calm, but can sometimes make the image boring or uninteresting. Complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. For example, red and green, or blue and orange. Since complementary colors are as far as you can get from each other, they are often fighting for attention. Because of this, the images that use complementary colors have an exciting energy to them, but sometimes that energy can be too much, making the image hard to look at. When an image mainly uses one color, we call that monochromatic. For example, an image could have light blue, dark blue, and regular blue. Monochromatic images can also use black, white, or gray. Since monochromatic images use just one color, they can seem very lonely and sad, or anxious and depressing, depending on the color used. Bold colors are colors that are really strong and vibrant. Notice how the colors in this baldassari seem to jump off the page at you. These are bold colors. Notice how Warhol uses colors to make his subject seem out of this world. These are bold colors. On the other hand, delicate colors are colors that are weak, like pastels. Notice how the colors in this Monet are easy to look at and seem like they are barely there. That is because they are delicate. This painting by Helen Frankenthaler is a great example of a painting that uses both delicate and bold colors. Notice how the pastel, soft, delicate greens and reds seem to just sit there. And the bright, vibrant, bold yellows and blues seem to come off the canvas. There are other ways we can group colors as well. Colors can be joyful, happy, and exciting, or they can be sad, mournful, and depressing. What colors do you associate with joy and happiness? How about what colors do you associate with sadness and depression?